This tip will really help you in GCSE physics exams, and it's using bullet points. There's no calculations in this question, but there's three marks, and a lot of people are tempted to waffle and write loads. You don't need to. You keep it concise. You get your three marks by writing three separate things. So let's have a look at this question. We've got a syringe with a plunger pushing it in, and we've got a pressure gauge that's measuring the pressure. It says when the plunger was pushed slowly into the syringe, the syringe the pressure increased. The temperature does not change, so we don't worry about temperature. So let's explain why did the pressure increase. We need to know what gas pressure is to answer this question. When we talk about gas pressure, we are talking about particles inside a gas that are hitting the side of the container and bouncing off. So when that happens, there is a force exerted. And if we can talk about force and we talk about collisions, we are going to be likely to get close to three marks for this question. So as the um, plunge gets plunged slowly into the syringe, the idea is that the volume is decreased. So as the volume is decreased, we say something like there's less space between particles as there is less volume. And that means there's going to be a greater rate of collisions. Now, you can't just say more collisions, say a greater rate of collisions or more frequent collisions, um, because that implies per uh, time, so it's per second. So that's between the particles and the uh, syringe. And that hasn't explained what pressure yet. Pressure we talked about, we've got to mention force. So that means there's a greater um, force per unit area on the syringe. And if we look at our equation sheet, we'll find there is also an expression for pressure, which is force divided by area, um, which means that if you've got more force, you're then going to have a greater pressure as well.